Hi, Tony here from PPA, Property Professionals Australia, one of the directors, keeping it real. Today, we're gonna to look at step three in our proven process to show you exactly how to invest in property correctly, and this gives you a real good safety net. Research, research is paramount, guys. I can't stress it enough, exactly what you need to know and cover off on, and today we're gonna to look at the seven most critical points that you need to understand and cover off on before you buy property. And it's often overlooked by a lot of investors, hence why they get into trouble and make mistakes. It doesn't stack up. Timing is crucial. Timing. We need demand, we need supply to be high. We need a tight market. So you need to tick that box, all right? Infrastructure. What infrastructure is driving employment, is driving jobs, is driving population growth to the area? And I'm not talking small projects, I'm talking projects in the hundreds of millions and even billions in a micro location, because that will absolutely accentuate your capital growth potential on high returns. Tick that box. And I mean, infrastructure, you've got to know it's going to be there. You've got to know it's happening in the next few years or now, not a possibility. It's got to be approved and ready to go or already started. Okay, population growth. As I touched on just there, we need population growth to drive the need for housing, right? We need demand to be high, so we need population growth growing dramatically in an area. Tick that box. Employment opportunities. We need multiple employment opportunities for a diverse um, number of economies, right? Or, or, or job opportunities in a diverse group of professional areas, both blue collar and white collar. Right? A diverse group of people, we need to have high employment opportunity. Location, 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 guys. We hear about it on TV a lot. It's really important to micro down to the absolute best location. So it's not just about a city that's gaining capital growth. It's not just about an area of that city. It's about the micro location that's likely to do the best. Okay, And if possible, even the streets that are likely to give you better capital growth because of demand, because of population growth, because of employment, because of the quality of infrastructure. You need to tick that box, both through your research and on the ground. Matrix. This is a location matrix that we've designed. It's a point scoring system out of 100 that tells us what an area scores out of 100. And I can tell you it needs to score over 70 out of 100. And we look at things from affordability to infrastructure to employment, employment to rental vacancy rates, rental demand, the quality of the area, the demographics, the percentage of owner occupiers, all this stuff gets a number, a score. So that needs to be ticked. And last but not least, rental market. We need to know that there's a tight vacancy rate, there's demand for the property we're building or buying. We need to know that there's a number of, I suppose, economic drivers that are gonna make this a tighter and marketing, a tighter market and a more in demand market. So we know moving forward for a number of years, the market's gonna tighten and demand's gonna increase and supply, well, we're not gonna have enough. So it's really crucial we need to understand that and tick that box too. These are the most crucial. There are other areas that we need to look at with research both through data, figures and economics and on the ground research. You should be doing on the ground research and understanding the fundamental drivers, guys. Thanks for listening. Tony, PPA, keeping it real. Till next time.